With the advent of the new MIAA football playoff system, traditional Thanksgiving football rivalries aren't necessarily just for the holidays anymore. And if any of these other matchups are as close to as entertaining as Friday night's Tri-Valley League clash between Hollis and Westwood, sign me up for more. My name is Bruce Lurch reporting for the Boston Herald. We've got a lot to get to, so buckle your seatbelts and get ready to enjoy an instant classic. Early on, it was Westwood in control. The Wolverines got on the board first as workhorse running back Danny Roach takes the pitch, cuts it back up the middle, and somehow goes untouched all the way in for a 55-yard touchdown. After the defense forced a punt, Westwood's second possession would start at its own 11-yard line. The Wolverines marched 89 yards in 17 plays, ending with this 12-yard touchdown pass from Berluti to tight end Brendan Patterson. Now trailing 15-0 in just two plays after having a 39-yard touchdown called back for holding, the Panthers struck gold as Matt Jay hits Zach Elkinson all alone over the middle of the field. The playmaking junior took it the rest of the way in for a 32-yard score. Holliston's defense came up big right before the half as Connor LaFay picks up this fumbled snap at the Westwood 19-yard line, runs it all the way back for a touchdown, pulling the Panthers to within a point at 15-14. Let's jump to the third quarter now, and Jay has Holliston on the move once again. The senior captain threw for 270 yards and three touchdowns on the night. And helped set up a four-yard touchdown run for Nick Athey here. The Panthers' defense came through again on the next possession as Coleman Regan picks off Berluti at his own 43. Jay would hit three big passes on the next Holliston drive, ending with this 16-yard strike to Elkinson as Holliston reeled off 29 straight points grabbed a 29-15 lead. Berluti would atone for his mistake immediately, however, turning in possibly the highlight real play of the night. Watch him avoid a sack, then get a big block from lineman Chris Eldridge, who took out two defenders to get him out into space. Berluti would take care of the rest, breaking three more tackles on his way to a 53-yard touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter now, with the Wolverines trailing 29-21, Paul Bailing recovers a Holliston fumble at his own 32 with just over six minutes to go. Berluti, a two-time Tri-Valley League All-Star at wide receiver, who's now in his first year as quarterback, marched his team all the way to the Holliston 1, where Roach was able to punch in a score. Berluti would run in the conversion himself, tying the game at 29 apiece with just 21 seconds remaining. As crazy as this game was, Holliston found itself with a chance to end it as regulation as Jay finds Athey for a 50-yard completion, but a 33-yard field goal try would fall short and we were headed for overtime. No Westwood had possession first in the extra frame and got in as Roach pounded in his third TD from two yards out. Holliston would answer with a four-yard score by Jay. Both teams missed their conversion tries and we were headed for a second overtime. Holliston was up first in the second overtime Jay rifles a perfect pass to Elkinson in the end zone on fourth down. Westwood would stop the conversion try, though, as Connor DiVincenzo gets the big hit on Jay trying to dive in. Westwood's turn now, and Berluti came up with another big play, hitting Chris Hanley in the back of the end zone with a 25-yard strike to tie the game once again. On the conversion, Berluti calls his own number, scrambled around the left side for the winning points in a crazy 43-41 Westwood victory. Let's take it to the start of the game. We call a timeout, and I noticed on the play, I, I said, Coach, you see all that open space to the left? And we basically had a quarterback sweep kind of play, so I said, let's just run that to the left. They had done a good job of shifting to, to what we were doing and everything, but they really just had the whole area vacated. We, what it did was we, we only had the minimal amount of guys to block. We maybe two guys to really block to allow the land. We only had to get like three yards, so it, you know, it was, um, yeah, so I just started, I said, let's just run that, and you know, it worked out. Once again, your final score, Westwood 43, Holliston 41 in two overtimes. With these kinds of fireworks, I can't wait to see them do it again on Thanksgiving. For the Boston Herald High School Sports Department, I'm Bruce Lynch.